This faceless YouTube channel is making up to $70,000 a month. Considering the type of content that they're making, I'm going to lean more towards $10,000 a month based on a $5 CPM, just by creating and uploading YouTube shorts. And the best part is it's all done by AI. Their titles, descriptions, thumbnails, and captions all generated using AI. Here's one of their latest videos. Expert can guess this 10 video game logo in under a minute. Easy level, first logo. Candy Crush. And as you can see, it's engaging, relatable, and shareable type of content. I'm gonna show you how you can create hundreds of these completely for free in very little time, only using these simple two AI tools. And the first tool that we're going to use is ChatGPT. I'm going to leave a link down below so that you guys can get access to it completely for free. Once you've logged onto ChatGPT, it's going to look very similar to that of a WhatsApp chat where you can ask questions to the ChatGPT assistant and it will respond to you with various answers based on internet research. For the specific strategy, I've used the prompt from this video. So credit to this video and the content creator of this video for this prompt idea. However, we're going to change it up a little bit. If you guys want to get access to the text document of this prompt, make sure to keep watching this video until the end so that I can send it over. But in a nutshell, I'm going to paste this prompt over here and run through it with you. Create me 50 sets of facts in the same style as the below examples and format them in a table where one column is the topic and one column is the part one and the other column is the part two. Do not repeat any facts. These should be psychology facts, crush facts, male facts, girl facts, relationship facts. They'll be formatted as a topic or a type of fact, part one and then part two. Keep the facts engaging and polarizing over the top and relatable to everyone or people in particular situations. The reading grade should be under grade seven. Ideally, here's a few examples. Topic one, a deep fact. Nobody apologizes for how they treat me. They just blame me for how I reacted and then a ton of other different examples. Now there's many pages using something similar with ChatGPT. Instead of using relationship or crush facts, they're using country facts or different countries around the world and creating different quizzes around those countries. Here's another page over here called a puzzle page, which is a Q&A page that will ask you a simple question. So for example, who invented the airplane? And it will give you ABCD answers. You need to decide which answer is correct. So there's many different ways that you can re-engineer this prompt to suit different content. We can then click on send and let ChatGPT generate this table. As you can see over here, it will take a couple of minutes, but it will give you the topic, part one and part two. So for example, your crush fact, girl fact, sad fact, male fact, and all sorts of different facts that we can now start to engineer into our content. You can also adjust this number. I recommend don't use anything more than 50 as at a time, 50 pieces of content is more than enough content to give you in advance for at least the next 50 days being nearly two months. And when you get to the point where you've used all of these topic ideas, you can just regenerate the prompt and ask for different topic ideas. And it will then generate you the next 50 ideas for the next 50 days. So as you can see, ChatGPT is really generating us content for the next couple hundred of days. So we will never really run out of content using this particular method. The reason that we're doing this is to balance the quantity and quality. The smaller the number that you ask for, if you're asking for 10 or 20 sets, it's going to focus on more quality answers rather than just providing you with a whole bunch of different facts that is as not as high of a quality. For example, if you want to come up with your next 50, type in the following prompt. Come up with 50 more using the same specifications. Do not repeat previous ones. Click on send and it will create you a whole new table with 50 new ones that is not repeated, which will allow us to generate bulk videos, 50 videos at a time based on these 50 different answers in this table format to produce 50 videos for us at once, saving us a ton of time of having to do manual editing. With that being said, you want to go and copy all of the text in this table, because from there, we're then going to come over to this tool called Canva.com. Now, I'm sure many of you have heard of Canva.com, but I'm pretty sure you didn't know that Canva has this particular feature. Now, Canva has a feature where we are allowed to go and paste all of this text and generate in mass bulk 50 videos at once, and we can tweak and adjust them, but the fantastic thing about this tool is when we paste in this text, it's gonna generate all of these videos. It's saving us tons of time. We don't have to proofread. We don't have to script the videos. It's all automatically going to be generated. Again, I will leave a link down below to Canva and all of the websites that I talk about in this video. Go and sign up a free account at canva.com and on the search bar of Canva's homepage, you want to go and search YouTube Shorts Templates under the Templates bar over here. And right here where it says YouTube Shorts 1080 by 1920 pixels, 
click on this as we now have the default presentation for the YouTube Shorts portrait format. Go ahead and click on create blank template. It's going to open up Canva in a new tab with a new blank template. We need to do a couple of things to get this template ready to start automating all of our ChatGPT prompts or our content ideas and mass generate videos based on the tweaking that we need to do on this blank template. We're going to add a background video, whether that be a stock video related to that specific topic that we're talking about. So obviously if we're talking about a relationship fact, our background video needs to do with love because it's not gonna make sense putting a sporty background video on a relationship fact video. And then we need to add some text holders, whether that be a title or just some body text that we then can set that template to repeat and mass produce our videos. On the left hand side, click on the apps option and scroll down a little bit until you see the video option. Select the video option and the type of videos that we're looking for is something of that with a ambient nature, sunset, beach, forest, nature, and something really calming. I'm gonna search the term ambient and see what comes up. Here I see a sunset, another video going over the ocean with mountains in the background, another video with more mountains. Over here, some mountains as well, a beach, background of a lit up studio, a video of a waterfall. So there's some really nice video ideas here that we can use for the background of our videos. You'll see some of the videos over here have this little crown option. So when we go to the bulk creation section of our videos, you will need to sign up for a free trial. But what you can do is you can sign up for the free trial and cancel it immediately after so that you can continue using the pro services without having that fee come off your account in the future in the future, instead of debiting that fee, it will just cancel your free trial. So therefore you can use the pro version for free for a certain amount of time. I like the idea of this video over here, which is like a grayed out semi-colored video of the ocean with mountains and clouds in the background. So it gives it a very like rainy day, chill movie vibe kind of a day aesthetic to the video, which is really what we're looking for when it comes to these types of videos. And you're going to drag it to the edge of the portrait formats and that it's also kind of centerized, focusing on the subject of this particular video. Before we continue, we just need to tweak and change one or two things. So for example, the first thing that we need to do is make the video a bit shorter. As you can see, this video is currently 21.3 seconds. So if I click on this and just drag this option over here to about 5.5 seconds long, that's more than enough. And also any background videos, any background audios or music that has already been added to this existing video, we also need to remove so that it's currently muted. We can select the audio option over here and just drag this all the way down to zero so that we can't hear anything on this video. So it's just a silent background video that's currently playing. Now we're gonna go and add our text to the video, but there's a particular way that we need to do this. We're not just gonna copy and paste the text from ChatGPT as is. We're going to be using variables so that the AI tool knows to replace that specific variable with each and every title when generating these mass videos. So we can click on the text option on the left-hand side where it says add a heading. Click on that, it's gonna add a heading text to your video, which we can then go and change this to the word topic. We're going to program Canva to recognize the term topic to replace that with our heading when Canva mass generates our videos off of ChatGPT. Let's also touch up the text just to make sure that it's neatly visible on every single video. So to go and do that, we can click on the text. If your background is more white, you want to make your text a black in color or a dark color, but because the white is more visible on this template, I'm going to keep it white. We can then go and add a background to this text, click on the text, click on the effects tab, here where it says background on the left-hand side, check that under the transparency section, make that more or less at about 50%. You can also play with the different fonts. So if you click on the text, click on the font drop down over here, there's tons of different fonts that you can go and choose from. So for example, this one over here, uh, Code Pro, there's also Remo, there's tons of various different ones. I'm gonna stick to the default and use the Canvas Sans. Once you've chosen what you like, we need to go and add the body of the text to our video. So to go and do that easily, just click on the initial title or the heading 
click on duplicate so it doubles this text and copies it again and this is going to act as our part one text so i'm going to double click on the text and replace this with simple part one we can make this a little bit smaller, just so that it's smaller than the heading. Again, centerize this. And for the body of the text, we can get rid of the background. So again, click on the body text, click on effects and click on background and click on none so that it removes the background. However, I am going to add an outline because as you can see, without the outline, it may get a little bit difficult to read the text. So we can click on outline, add the thickness as well and we can make this black in color. So for example, if your text is white, you want to add a black outline. If your text is black, you want to add a white outline. And this is much more easily readable. Now, there is a part two to our video, as we saw from our ChatGPT prompt, we have part one and part two. So it's in order to go and program part two into our video, click on part one, Again, click on duplicate so that we have two of these texts so that we now have a duplicate of part one and we can go and change this to part two. Ideally, we do want part two where part one is, but we're gonna move this down a little bit just because when we connect the data from ChatGPT to Canva, it's gonna be really hard for it to read the part two text if it's right behind part one. So we will adjust that when we program the data from ChatGPT into our Canva video. For part two, we're gonna click and drag on these edges and have them line up to the border of this purple line. Again, same thing over here, just drag it until this purple line box highlights, as you can see around this template, so that it's exactly lined up with the border of this entire video. So the reason we're doing this is because when we program the data from ChatGPT into our video, it's going to centerize the text neatly and give it enough space that it doesn't overlay any other text on the video. Because if this text needs to use multiple lines, as you can see over here, some of these sentences are quite a bit longer, that when we go into line two, it's not gonna extend past those borders so that it will be visible on your viewer's device and that it's also just neatly centerized in our video upon the mass generation of the content. However, the only thing that we don't want is both of these part ones and part twos to show at the same time. So we need to program when we import the data from ChatGPT to Canva, that part two must only show after a certain amount of time. So therefore we don't want both of these showing at the same time, otherwise the video is gonna lose a lot of audience retention. So we need to go and adjust the timing of part two so that these two don't overlap. So in order to go and do that, we're gonna click on part one, right click, click on show timing, and we can go and adjust right at the bottom at the time where the text shows at the beginning and at the time where the text then hides itself. So part one, we can go through halfway of the video since we've got a, Let's make this video six seconds, a six second video. We can make part one disappear after three seconds. Same thing with part two, right click, click on part two and make part two visible after three seconds. So that when part one disappears, part two then shows. So it's gonna look something like this. Okay, we can make part two at 2.9 seconds and take a look at this. Boom, part one disappears, part two appears. A little trick that you can also use is if you want to get more watch time on your videos is extend part one to about four seconds long and then extend part two to the last two seconds of the video. So what this does is it keeps people on your video longer because they're obviously waiting for the punchline and then boom, as part two appears, part one disappears, but the video is pretty much already at the end. So the majority of your audience has already watched your entire video. Also, if the punchline is quite long, there's not a lot of time to read the punchline. So sometimes that's going to cause viewers to have to watch your video twice, which all adds to higher watch time, more retention to your videos, which are key metrics that favor the social media algorithms in their decision to choose which videos are going to go viral. The next thing that we need to go and do is program all of these prompts from Canva into our video. Now to go and do that, we're gonna use an app in canva.com called Bulk Create by clicking on the apps on the left-hand menu bar of Canva. And if you scroll down a little bit, you will see the bulk create option. You can go and click on that. It's gonna open up 
a table form that looks like this, where we can either enter the data manually or upload the data via an Excel folder sheet. And this is exactly why we've asked ChatGPT to give us text for us to manually enter this data into the bulk create program, specifically in a table format so that it's really easy and just a matter of copy and paste. So let's go ahead and copy all of this data in this table, right click, copy, come back to camera.com, click on enter data manually. Just make sure the entire table is cleared. Click on the text bar at the right at the top left of the, what looks like a spreadsheet, click control V or just right click paste, click on allow. And there we go. It's already formatted. It knows these are topics. It knows here's part one and it knows here's part two to replace the variables with that we've just added on our video. Let's click done. And now it's going to ask you to connect this up to our variable text templates on our video template. For the topic, right click on your topic, click on connect data and click on topic. For part one, right click click on connect data and select part one. For part two, right click connect data and connect part two. If it's got these squiggly brackets around it, then you know it's successfully been connected up. And now that's been connected, we can drag part two back over to part one. So that appears in the exact same place as part one. Once that's complete, go ahead and click on continue. And once we click on generate 50 designs, it's gonna go ahead and generate all 50 of these videos. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on generate so that I can go and generate each of these videos. And here are our 50 videos. And if I hit play, it's gonna look something like this. So the first one is a crush fact. When you have a crush, often you, for the first four seconds, it's gonna show part one. Boom, after four seconds, check your phone every minute. It's gonna show part two. And the only thing that bothers me a little bit about these videos, each and every video has the same background. So that's the only thing we could go and change. So if you want to for video number two, come back to the apps option, click on videos. And if we're talking about, let's say a girl fact, we can put here, uh, let's put love. Maybe we can add this video of this couple on the beach. We can delete this background video and we can go and change up the videos for each and every mass video that has now been generated. Okay, so that it just keeps each and every video unique on our page so that it's not the same thing that we're copying and pasting every time. Um, so again here, we need to drag down this video to six seconds long. So if I click on play, a girl might say she hates drama, but boom, she knows all the gossip. Just like that, short, sweet, and simple. And same thing with the next video. First part, a sad fact, the hardest part about moving on. Boom, the second part, onto the next video, a male fact, a, guy's who, a guy who's into you will. Boom, second part, find any reason to text you. Onto the fourth video, and as you can see, all 50 of these videos have been created. Each of them at six seconds long, with each and every title, topic one and topic two. And once you're ready to go and upload these on YouTube, by the way, you don't only have to post this on YouTube, you can post on Facebook Reels, TikToks, Instagram Reels, and diversify where you're posting to reach a larger audience. Click on share on the top right hand side, but this is super important, click on download, but you want to make sure that you select download pages as separate files so that it downloads and saves each video as a separate file and not one video that has all of these together because when you upload that to TikTok, it's just gonna be one giant two minute long video with all of these connected together. Ideally, you want them to be separate. If you guys want to learn multiple ways that you can use to make money off these videos, I'm not talking about just ad revenue, I'm talking about affiliate marketing, membership areas, merchandise, sponsorship deals. I've created an entire playlist on YouTube that will teach you how to make money on TikTok. That's the name of the playlist. However, it doesn't only focus on TikTok. It focuses primarily on short video content and AI content, just like this. This playlist consists of videos that I've posted over the last couple of years documenting the various ways that I've made money off of my content that I create through AI. Now, I will leave a link above on the screen over here somewhere to this playlist. I recommend if you can't watch this playlist now or all of the videos now, save it to your watch later so that you can watch it in a time when you are free and also when you have no distractions. If you guys want to go and get that ChatGPT prompt, 
Make sure to leave a like on this video. Make sure you subscribe down below. Comment down below, I am ready. And I'll reply to that comment with the link to that text document to go and grab your ChatGPT prompts, to go and copy and paste and start mass producing your own videos.